embassy worry. I was so pleased that my son becomes a Christian. But sometimes, unwilling to me, the car he was using, he gave it to the church. When I asked him, he said, uh, he sold the seed with it. Later on, information reached me that he owned the house. The family house. We are living now with uh, four tenants, my children, and a store. And a store that he has given it as a seed to Christ Embassy. We went to the church to see the senior pastor of Wari Branch who promised to hand over the papers to us. Running up to one month now, they have refused to release the hard documents presented by my son, Shedra. We have met this senior pastor who promised to release this document, document of the duty. But a month, the manifestness, a month after, Christ still withhold the documents. We have contacted our lawyer to intervene. Our son used his car to Sochi a year ago and now used the family house to Sochi. The family is opposed to the to it. We like this we see this opportunity to appeal to Pastor Priest Yakilome to direct his worrying senior pastor to release the house document house documents we have we have also reported the matter to the police station. Yes, people. I hope you all have seen and heard, yes, what is going, trending on social media right now, yes, what the, you just saw, yes, that's what is trending on social media right now, that's very bad, yes, you see the video, yes, the son, one year ago, came back from Obodo Yibo, one year ago, yes, First, he donated, he sold his car as seed at Christ's embassy of Pastor Chris, the overseer of Christ's embassy. Yes, he sold the seed with his car one year ago. And the parents said that was okay, everything was okay. Yes, one year later, the seed that he sold did not yield any fruit. The gentleman said, okay, let me sow a bigger fruit right now. The guy now decided to take their family home and sow it as a seed to the Christ Embassy. That's in Nigeria, yes. And you heard the father speaking. That's a family house with four tenants inside. Four tenants and that's where his family is living with his father. And he went and sold the, the house as a seed to the church with all the documents. And you can hear the document, the house is not in his name. It's the family house. And on the document, his name is not written on that document. It's a family house that he's sowing as a seed to the church. Yes. And maybe 
uh, their, their graves of his great grandfather on that family house. When when there's a family house, you know, there's where when somebody died, they bury the person there. So it's like he's selling, he's sowing a seed with a house plus all the, the, the graves in the backyard, something. That's very sad, yes. That's very bad. If that church truly represents the value of Jesus Christ, they would call that boy, cancel him on the mistake and ask him to apologize to the father for trying to render the father homeless. Yes. A church supposed to help people in need, the homeless, but now a church wants to put somebody and his family homeless. Yes. And maybe that house is a house that the father has been working through his life to build. Now that the father retired, he, he, that's where he, he's supposed to be taking a rest and waiting for his, for his final day. Then the son decided to to, to, to give the, the, the house as a seed to the church. That's very bad. Yes. Why accept a seed as in the name of a building that the name of the house the, on the, the property, the document is not the name of the son that is on the property. So there's something going on here. That son is under a spell. He needs some prayers and delivery. That, that is what the, the, the pastor of that church was supposed to do, not collect the documents on the house. He was supposed to investigate, yes, that whether the property really belongs to the son before they accept it. Yes. It's very bad. Yes. He needs a, a, a psychiatric evaluation. That's not something that's normal. He should be taken to the hospital and be evaluated. Maybe he's having some mental problem. Because first of all, somebody was abroad. He came back one year ago. The question we should be asking that, why did he come back? There's something wrong. Yes, he's, there's something going on that we need to understand at that point. Yeah, rest. We need to understand that. Yes. After even confirming that the house doesn't belong to the boy, the church still was still refusing to hand over the key up to the point of looking for a lawyer to find the property. Imagine that. Looking for a lawyer to fight for a property. You see? My people, don't be ignorant. No? Don't be ignorant about this church thing. Yes. This boy maybe was brainwashed in church or something. If he's not having a mental problem, we don't understand. Yes. It's really funny when I saw a video online about Daddy Freeze making a video saying that that maybe Pastor Chris don't know about this, this house being sown and a seat in the church. That maybe Father Chris is very busy. Daddy Freeze, keep your mouth shut if you don't know what you are talking about. Yes, you don't know what you are talking about. Keep your mouth shut. It's the same thing that uh, what you were eating with hush puppy all over the place in Dubai, all over the place with him. But when he was caught for 419, uh, you said that you didn't know that he was 419. But somebody was your friend, you were eating together. But you, don't, you didn't know the type of business that he was doing. So you are both of the same feathers. Shut up your mouth. This matter doesn't concern you, Daddy Freeze. Yes. Stop that nonsense. How can you say that maybe uh, Pastor Chris uh, uh, didn't know about uh, the, the, the property being sown as a seed? You are mad. You should keep quiet. Yes, if you don't know anything to say, you should keep quiet and stay in your little hole there. Yes, I said that. Yes, that guy may be having some mental problem. He needs to be evaluated thoroughly. Yes. You, Daddy Freeze, you are saying that Pastor Chris may not know about the issue. Yes. But who's, who, when I look for a lawyer, is the church lawyer that's supposed to represent to find the property? So you want to tell me that um, uh, Pastor Chris don't know that the church have looked for a lawyer to go and fight for a property that doesn't belong to the church? Yes. The church is this cheap. Very cheap. I can't believe that. The church have gone this low to be fighting for property that doesn't belong to them. We should watch out, people. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, don't be stupid. Yes, that guy has been brainwashed. Maybe when he went to church and hand over the key to that property, first of all, the church was supposed to investigate to see whether the house really belongs to him. 
before they can take over the house as a seed or something like that. But when they discover that the house doesn't belong to the boy, to the family, and the family was still living in the house, and the church still went further to be fighting to take over the property. That is very bad. Church are rendering people homeless instead of looking for shelter. That's a shame. Yes. Let's stand against all this 419 called church. Yes. And that the free. Stop promoting it. I'm telling you that. Yes. That's how he went behind hush puppy eating money. When he was caught, you say he didn't know the type of business that he was doing. But you were in Dubai chopping life with him. Yes. My people, be wise so. Don't render your parents homeless. Yes. The Ten Commandments said, Honor your father and your mother so that your day should be lengthened on earth. Yes. This guy didn't honor his parents. Yes. He wanted to put his parents out in the cold. Yes. The same guy that used his car one year ago and so see. He has been trekking. Trekking every day all over the place. Why somebody else is using his car and even passing by and flushing mud on him. And he was trekking. After the one year, there was he didn't have no seed. He wanted to plant another bigger seed. Plant a seed with your sweat. Don't use another person's sweat to plant a seed. So that you should be the only one to suffer the consequences. Yes. Papa DJ Mix has spoken. Yes. Have a nice day, guys. Be wise. So don't be fooled by this so-called men of God for sowing seed. That doesn't work what you're sowing. Have a nice day, guys. Ciao.